With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question that we are going to discuss now is in the form of assertion and reason. So we have to tell whether the assertion and reason they are correct or whether this reason is the correct explanation of the assertion or not. So let us discuss these statements one by one. The first statement is telling that in a pedigree analysis, a circle represents an unaffected offspring. Now, if you talk about a pedigree analysis, then the scientists have devised uh, this uh, approach, which is known as pedigree analysis and it is to study the inheritance of the genes in humans okay so it is it is to study the inheritance of genes in humans okay so it is also useful for start when studying any population when progeny data from several generations is limited okay so it is used to the identify the trait or any disease which has been occurring in generation to generation or inheritance of the genes from generation to generation okay so it has been developed at several generations okay now if you talk about the symbols in the pedigree analysis then the symbols can be for the male and female okay so there is male symbol and then there is female symbol so a male symbol it it is represented by a square shape okay so this is a male symbol and if you talk about a female symbol then it is represented by a simple circle Okay, so this is a female uh, a symbol. Now, if you talk about the affected and unaffected symbol. Now, the affected ones, the affected ones, the affected offsprings, they will have this one colored. Okay, so the symbols in this, they will be what? They will be colored. Okay, it, whether it can be a male or can be a female. So, they will all be what? They will all be colored okay and if you talk about unaffected one unaffected one then the unaffected ones will be only simple square or a simple circle so they will be what they will be unaffected ones okay so it is telling assertion that in a pedigree analysis the circle represents an unaffected offspring so this is correct because i told you a simple circle or a simple this one it will represent the unaffected uh, unaffected offspring so this assertion is absolutely correct now if you talk about the reason for this then the reason it is telling that in the pedigree analysis the offspring are numbered with arabic numerals okay so this is correct that the offspring they are numbered in the Arabic numerals and if you talk about the generations okay so if you talk about the generations then it will be Roman numerals that will be one first second third like this okay so they will be arranged in Roman numerals the several generations okay so yes this is also correct but if you talk about the assertion and reason a relation, then the reason cannot be the correct explanation of the assertion because it is telling that why uh, this, uh, it is asking why this is circle representing the unaffected offspring. But in the reason there is nothing written for the unaffected offspring, it is written for the generations and for simple offspring and how they are numbered. Okay, so reason and assertion both are correct, but reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. So what will be the correct option? The correct option will be be that the reason both are true but reason is not the correct explanation so if you look at the correct option for this then the correct option will be second option which is b that both assertion and reason are correct but this reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion okay i hope you found this video helpful thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today